All right, so we are two weeks away from this election and there are people out here. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you the the components that make up a Trump supporter at this point in the game. At this point in the game, seeing what you've seen, knowing what you know, hearing what you've heard, things such as just, just in the past seven days, Trump has said that uh, he won the state of California in 2020. Um, he lost by 5 million votes in California. He's also said that he was he's going to win California again. Republicans never win California ever. Um, he's also said that, oh, he also went to a McDonald's to act like he worked a shift when actually the McDonald's was closed and they staged everything to bring in fake employees, fake customers and let him run a fry machine because he's obsessed with the fact that Kamala Harris said that she worked at McDonald's back in the 80s and for some reason he thinks people care about this one way or the other because he said she didn't she said she did he said she didn't and so for some reason he felt the need to make a spectacle of going in and uh, wearing a suit and putting on a McDonald's apron and acting like he was preparing some fries. Okay, I don't know what the fuck that has to do with running the country or anything else, but he did it. Uh, let's see, what else did he do this weekend? Oh, yeah, uh, he had a town hall where he, uh, rather, he took like three questions, and after that, he stopped taking questions and just had the the his person play some music, some weird music. Um... And he just stood on stage and just moved back and forth for 40 minutes while the crowd was just sitting there watching him move back and forth for 40 minutes. What else did he do? Uh, oh, he also said that he's nowhere near 80. He was talking about the whole age and dementia thing. He said he's not anywhere near 80 years old. He's 78. He also said that we need to go back to, that America needs to go back to the year 1798. That's when things was cracking politically. We need to go back to 1798. I don't know how many of you black folks realize, but if you do the math, 1798 slavery was in full effect. What else did he say? What else did he do? Let's see. Oh, he also called Kamala Harris, and this was not uh, some off-camera, off-mic, hidden microphone, hidden recording thing. He also said Kamala Harris was a shit vice president, that she is a shit vice president. He said this at a rally in front of uh, cameras and microphones, that Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris was a shit vice president. Um, What else did he say or do? Um, God, there's so much to keep up with, so much to keep up with. Uh, he said that, uh, oh, he doubled down on the fact that he wants to turn the United States military against what he calls uh, enemies from within, meaning certain Democrats and media figures and just people who don't agree with him. He wants to unleash the American military, uh, if he has his way, unleash the American military against these people. Now, saying all that to say that if you are still at this date, at this time, a Trump supporter slash voter, you are suffering from a toxic mix of hatred, racism, self-hatred, racism, ignorance, and stupidity. And there is no help for you if you are in that category. Oh, and he found two black NFL players to come on stage and play, you know, Steven from Django, and he was Mr. Candy. Uh, yeah, that was, that was cute. All right. So there you go. Now, what are you going to do in 14 days?